Oh man, lift me up and lead me out in pursuit of you. The burning bush, <laughs> speaking to Moses says, I came down to bring you up out of the land of Egypt. Jesus came down to bring us up into heavenly places and out of worldliness. <laughs> and here we read in the most amazing song of all, lift me up and lead me out in pursuit of you. He's bringing us up and out of the natural realm in pursuit of him in the supernatural spiritual realm of glory. <laughs> Remember when the disciples they did not our hearts burn as he went over the scriptures with us and they began to walk with God and then he disappeared because he disappeared from their natural sight because he wanted to lift them up and lead them out in pursuit of him. He wants to be pursued in the glory realm, in the realm of the supernatural glory realms of his heart, in the invisible realm, in the most the more real realm where the natural realm came out of. All reality came out of God, the natural realm, the, but it came out of the invisible realm. And that's where reality is because God is in the invisible realm. The heaven of heavens cannot contain him. He's still in the natural realm, but he's waiting for us in the invisible realm. That's why it is written, set your affections on things above and not on the earth. Set them on things. <laughs> where Christ sits at the right hand of God. Just pursue him there because he's lifting us up and leading us out in pursuit of him to be transfigured by ever beholding him. By go when we behold him, we go from glory to glory. We get renewed in the spirit of our minds so we can know, understand, and realize the glory of God within every believing believer is available. Lift me up and lead me out in pursuit of you. We will run away together. <laughs> Amen. In your cloud filled chamber. You know what? He's making you into the Holy of Holies. God, I thank you that you are making the true bride of Christ into the Holy of Holies, where the strongest presence of God abides where we live, move, and have our being in you, and you live, move, and have your being in us. And just like the temple was torn when Jesus Christ was crucified and the way was made open, we can step through into the Holy of Holies to be with you. And you can step through us, the body of Christ that's been torn open and crucified with you into the world and touch them and bring them into <laughs> in Jesus name into the cloud filled chamber of intimacy uh, we will the the chorus of friends we will all celebrate and rejoice over you we will sing with praises our lyrics oh of your better than wine love it is no wonder righteousness adores you of your better than wine love. Your love is more intoxicating than any alcohol. Your love is more intoxicating than a drunk <laughs> staggering into, into, into on the sidewalk and falling down. It's like we stagger in your love and we just fall deeper and deeper in love with you because your love has overwhelmed us your love has just taken over our emotions taken over our body taken over our feelers it's like we have to be translated into the the chambers of glory because your love is more than we can handle your love is the handle that holds on to us and opens up the reality of of god Without love, we don't have any food to give the sheep. Without love, we don't even have a relationship with you because God is love. And without that love, there is no relationship. All that's left is religion. And oh, what a burdensome thing that is. <laughs> but no, 
He has brought us up and out into his cloud filled chamber. I remember just sitting in the glory cloud of the honey presence of God and visions were opened up to me, revelations of the kingdom, things that are too wonderful for my natural mind to even understand. And I just, just sitting in that peace, I could sit there for eternity, just drinking in the presence of God. That place is available for all those who will go up and out of this natural realm and to be to pursue God with all of our heart, all of our minds, and even all of our bodies sanctified for the master's use. So God, we just lay down our bodies again. If we've done anything with our bodies that is, that is demonic or sinful, we just give it to you. Have your way with our bodies. If we've done anything with our minds, our souls, that is sinful, that we just give our minds over to you. We surrender our minds. We surrender our bodies. And we surrender our spirits, our hearts to you. If there's any idols in our hearts that are blocking us from you, we just surrender those idols to you and let you burn them up so there's nothing left but you enthroned in our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. Because your love is stronger than wine. It's no wonder righteousness adores you. Righteousness adores you. It is written. Righteousness is a door for you to walk through. When we walk in righteousness, we're walking in the door. And the door is walking in us. And we open up our heavenly gates. And the King of Glory comes in and touches other people around us. Because righteousness adores you. <laughs> Your righteousness is a wide open door for the glory to pour through and touch other people's lives. Amen. The Shulamite. Jerusalem maidens. I know I am so unworthy, so in need. Oh, that is, that is a wonderful revelation right there. I am so unworthy of all this peace, so unworthy of all this love, but I need it. I need you, God. I need your presence. I need your glory to transform my heart and my mind and even my body. And... I need this, this glory to by ever beholding you so that I can... You said, Father, I will that they would behold me in my glory. Why? So that we can be ever changed by beholding you. If we're not beholding you in your glory, we're not changing from glory to glory. And we're just remaining these, 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 these carnal Christians, God. So we gotta be, we need to see you in your glory. And I thank you that as you sanctify our hearts, as you burn in our hearts, you say that the pure in heart shall see God. We can see you through a pure heart, God. So thank you for the heart being purified today. And what is that? It did not our hearts burn as he went over the scriptures with us. As, as the scriptures were explained by the anointed one, our hearts began to burn because we began to see him clearly. In the book of Genesis, we began to see him clearly in the, in the prophets. We began to see him clearly in the book of the law. We began to see him clearly throughout from the book of Genesis to Revelation. There he is redeeming us, bringing us back to his heavenly father. There he is laying down his life to give us that life more abundantly. There he is. Your love is better than wine. And it's no wonder righteousness adores you. It's no wonder. We don't have to wonder about it anymore. It's the truth that sets us free. You are our righteousness. You're being, we are being made one with you through your precious blood being poured out. That is your precious life being poured out. So... It's no mystery that we need to pour out our lives to you because you poured out your life to us to get us here. Jerusalem maidens, I know I am so unworthy, so in need, so in need of him. I need to see him in the darkness of night. I need to see him when the sun is burning bright. I need to see him 
when my heart is cold so that it'll burn again with the flames of passion that he has for me. I need to see him in this cloud of glory. I need to see him in the night. I need to see him in the day. I need to see him when everything's burning bright because he will outshine it all and give me true light. God, we need to see your face. We need to see your heart. We need to see you to be set apart for your glory. We need to see you more clearly through a pure heart. Purify our hearts today. Purify our hearts and minds. Purify our walk. Wash our feet again, God. Wash our feet so we can walk with you in the washing water of your word and not bring reproach upon your name, but shine you into the hearts of men and women around us. Amen. Thank you for this opportunity, God. I know I am so unworthy, so in need.